I'm Lauren Myrickle, and I have a new book that's coming out that I'm so excited about, and it's called Peace, Love, and Baby Ducks. I come here every day and work. This is my office apart from my house office, and I can be here for five to six hours, and I need a lot of caffeine. There you go. Thank you so set, much. All right. Have a good one, Lauren. Thank you, Ian. Oh, yeah. It is a book that is probably closer to my real life than anything I've ever written before. It's about a girl named Carly, and she's got a younger sister named Anna. And Carly is 15, and Anna is 14, and they've always been really close, but at the same time, Anna has always been the younger sister, and Carly has definitely been the older sister with all that goes with that. Carly goes away for the summer, and she goes and has this kind of eye-opening experience of realizing that her small, insular Atlanta world, which is full of wealth and pastels and BMWs, isn't the only world out there. And she gets this new insight into herself, and she comes back home hoping she'll hold on to that, and she's going to be authentic and real. Anna has gone through some changes on her own that summer. She's grown boobs. Frankly, that's what happened. So all of a sudden, there Anna is sexy, and that's freaky to have a sexy little sister, and Carly doesn't quite know how to handle that. So the book is about how she navigates that, how she tries to figure out who she is. Another huge theme of the book is friendship, because friends make the world go around, whether you're a grown-up or a kid. You what? put me in your book? You come in a lot. Are you kidding on the character? <laughs> you, have a, you have your big statistics brain, and sometimes you're quite feisty. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> People sometimes ask me, what advice would you give to teens and tweens? Because life is hard at that point. And here is the advice I would give them. Be true, be kind, be cool, and don't let anybody tell you who to be. Just be who you want to be and embrace it. My editor put it in a way that made me feel so happy. She said, Lauren, this is your life's work. For whatever reason, you still have a connection to that part of your life, and you can now share that with a little bit of experience as well. 